No, nah, the only reason why I said Ross was hot because, like, uh, I guess recently was my first time seeing people speak about him, like, in that, in that great realm. I feel like with that saying. last project, so I was like, I never thought about. it. I was like, damn, you know that nigga did, mm-hmm. like he did do a lot of shit. But I'm, a, I'm gonna go ahead and say Wayne is the goat, bro. Like yeah. I, I don't really, I don't know. Like niggas be like Jay, I'm like, bro, I ain't never, I can't name another artist who did so many features, mm-hmm. who um did so many mixtapes, like who bar for bar just put out that much. I won't even say just content, that much quality content. Like he wrapped his ass off for like. Yep. Five, six years straight. He's a big reason why niggas is doing that now. Like, and you feel me? Like, people don't know where it came from, and they talking about all these other mixtapes that people drop. Which yeah, they hard, but please know Wayne because Wayne was dropping mixtapes when mixtapes were not the thing. Nobody knew about him. What the fuck is a mixtape? You feel me? Like, that was the lower level shit to do. And Wayne was like, I'm finna start from the bottom and give y'all niggas free music for any rapper to say any rapper with a major deal to tell you i'm gonna give you free music that's a huge thing you feel me and right now it's like the game is flipped around because it's like now you got all these rappers who they under labels and can't even drop albums bitch. all they dropping is mixtapes you feel me because the label got your ass like this you know what i'm saying so it's like i guess you got to pick your poison you know what i mean but if you got to pass it out for yourself. Don't let some shit curve you. You know what I'm saying? Find what fits you. I mean, but it's also the way we consume music because mm-hmm. we ain't buying albums no more. Facts. Honestly, I don't even know what's the difference between an album or But the problem is mixtape. niggas' mixtapes be sounding like mixtapes. What you mean? Say it again? You felt niggas' mixtapes be sounding like mixtapes. Like, remember, you hear some mixtapes and you like, damn, dog, you don't know because the mixtape was so hard. The body of work was so ill. How it was put together, you like, damn, okay. Like, it, it, it's crazy to me because I see um, somebody like Kodak who, okay, now you dropping an album. And I'm like, oh, damn, he dropping a street album? I was like, damn, I thought the mother shits was albums. Or I thought he dropped the album at this time. I thought this was an album. No, these were mixtapes. You feel me? And to be able to peep that and see that and be like, okay, shit, you still did your thing. Your music's um, different and unorthodox, you feel me? But it feeds the street so hard, you know what I mean? And that just reminds me of like that Jeezy, that Gucci, that, you get what I'm saying? To where it just fed the street so hard. It's like the streets felt like they needed it. You get what I'm saying? And you feeding them. And to me, that's that's what it is, you know what I mean? I low-key miss that era where like, you know, the mixtapes was like other people's beats. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where it was a DJ cutting and scratching, bringing the shit back, drop like that shit sound good. I'm a fan mm-hmm. of that. You know the drama talking yep. over this shit. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you so mean. So if I had an artist, I'll be like, listen, we could put out these mixtapes, but it's gonna have all that shit on it, and then we're gonna drop this album, get this album, this Apple streaming credit. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Get some type of cash from mm-hmm. it. You know what? What I think would be the ideal joint is if you was an artist, right? And you just drop mixtapes, but like it's obviously not free because you're gonna put all the little samples and shit, right? And mm-hmm. whatever. And then whatever your single is, you can drop the single or whatever, mm-hmm. and you can pay for that. Um, but I feel like once you do all that street promo, and then you you should drop your album kind of like um how um I can't remember his name. How he dropped the Crenshaw album. What is his name? Um, uh, Nipsey, Nipsey Hustle. Hustle. Where like you were, that would be a good model. Just get your your buzz up and then drop one for a hundred dollars. With some type of product like a T-shirt or whatever, right. whatever sign the thing. So, what's your your opinion on the way that we consume music or the way that people sell it? Um, the thing about music right now is if you gonna share it, you gonna have to put it on a big platform and you gonna have to do it the right way. Because I mean, there's a lot of people dropping music right now, but that's the problem. There's a lot of people dropping music right now. I promise, if you take your mixtape and you drop that bit on YouTube or that path or something, even my mixtapes, you get what I'm saying. If you don't do it the right way. You're just a number. You feel me? You're gonna get lost in the crowd. You get a couple hundred plays. You get this, that, and the third. But are you really getting the notoriety that you need? You know what I'm saying? And that's when it comes back to investing, doing the right things, making sure you got the right people on your team. You feel what I'm saying? To really make that shit happen because um, everything is a diamond in the rough right now. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta find that way to make yourself pop. You know, to stand out amongst everybody who's doing the same thing. Because you may drop a mixtape on that piff. You decide to do that shit on a Tuesday, you might be fucked when everybody else decided to do it. And now they done dropped 40 projects that day, 130 projects that day. It's like, is somebody really going to see you? You get what I'm saying? So it's those little things. What well, about that that, um, that theory I just dropped, right, with the Crenshaw mixtape? Do mm-hmm. you think people are willing to pay for a physical disc anymore at all? Um, yeah. If... 
you do it the right way because think this is the thing right now is there's still a lane for that there's still people who buy albums like tangibly you feel what i'm saying and when i drop gray album there's people like oh how can i buy it oh well you got to go on amazon and you can pot you know what i'm saying purchase a, a dig, um tangible copy through there you feel what i'm saying and people were doing that i was getting sales through that so it shows me like there's still a lane for that so even if we as artists want to go straight digital you feel me you still got to remember there's still labels out here printing up fucking cds obviously they doing it for a reason somebody's buying them shits you get what i'm saying and you have to make that available for people like that um cd wave is still there trust me yeah i be telling people all the time i'm like like well if you if you hear something you like you better buy that bitch because if they decide to take it off of apple music or take it off of spotify you no longer have it yep. and when you buy a cd you buy a copy mm -hmm. of the, you don't own the music but you do buy a copy you yep. know what i'm saying so it's so many like mixtapes and shit i remember listening to when i was younger that you can barely find and then if you do find it it's like the worst quality in the world yep. like for instance you um you from you from right do you remember uh piccolo dropped a song when we was kids it was called uh t-shirt yep that, Fine Hold on, you talking about ashes and ashes, ashes and, and dust, dust to dust. dust? I put your picture on a t shirt. Yeah. Go find that Damn. song right now because you won't be able to find it. You can't find it. If you bought it, you can, you can have yep. it. So it's like, I be telling people they like it, man. Go ahead and, go ahead and buy it. Damn, that's memory. That song brought back crazy memories. Bro. I played it in the club one day. But I, I had ripped it off of YouTube, so it was awful. Like, you could barely really hear it. Like, I don't even think niggas knew what the song was, but I thought I was the shit. I was like, nigga, I'm about to kill him with this one. Niggas ain't even know who the 